Hello guys, welcome back to Heart of Worship. Today's topic is on Christian marriage. What is a Christian marriage? Guys, Christian marriage is a Christ-like marriage. It is a marriage based on God's word. It is a marriage that is ordained by God. That is, living or being in marriage the way God wants it. The way God planned marriage. Remember, marriage is ordained by God. Let's start from the beginning. Let's go to Genesis 2.18. It says, And the Lord said, It is not good that a man should be alone. I'll make him a helper comparable to him. So see, marriage emanated, started from the from Genesis, it started from God, it started from the beginning. Because after God created everything, he saw it was beautiful. But God felt that it is not good for a man to be alone. Let's continue reading. Let's read uh, Genesis, the same Genesis 2. Let's start from 21 to 25. Genesis 2, 21, I, I read. And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which the Lord, Lord God, has taken from man, he made it into a woman, and he brought her to a man. And Adam said, This is now the bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Remember, yes, God made man. Now he made woman. Because she was taken out of man. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Flesh, And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. So, I just want to lay this foundation. God ordained marriage. God felt it wasn't right for a man to be alone. That is why God created woman. A companion for a man, a helpmate for him. So the second step is when it comes to marriage, we have to go by God's word, God's order, God's instructions concerning marriage. Okay, let's go to Ephesians 5. I just want to lay this foundation so that you guys will understand what Christian Christian marriage is all about. Sometimes we are misguided and misled because from because of false doctrine. But I want you to understand marriage the way God purposed it, the way God planned it, the way God wants it. Let's read Ephesians 5, 22 to 33. I read. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. In everything. You have to be submissive to your husband in everything. That is God's word. It is not coming from me. Let me continue from verse 25. Then husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but she should be holy and without blameless. So husbands, husbands, hear this, husbands, ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. It is clear. Sometimes we women feel that, oh, our own uh, instruction is heavy. How do I submit to somebody? How do I submit to a man? But think about it. Man's instruction from God is heavier. God commissioned them to love their wives as they love themselves. Just, it is a sacrificial life, um, love. Just like Christ laid his life for us. So a husband should be willing to lay his life for his wife. That is deep. 
you know, this is just a series. This is part one. I'm going to break it down for us to understand what love is. Because sometimes we say it so loosely, I love you, I love you, without understanding what love is. Sometimes when we say I love you, it comes from a selfish uh, part. It's come from, from, come from a selfish heart, actually. It can be selfish because when you tell somebody you love them, sometimes it's because you want something from them. So we're going to break all that down. But right now, let's focus on this. So verse um, 28, so husbands ought to love their own wives as their, as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does to the church. So it is the work of the husband to nourish and cherish his wife, just like Christ does to the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and his bones. For this reason... A man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery. A man shall leave the father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. It is no longer I, 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 I. It is now we as one, and the two shall become one flesh. And this is a big instruction. A man shall leave his father and mother. It doesn't mean that he's not going to take care of his parents. But now he's joined to his wife. And the two now becomes one flesh. The two has to work together. The two has to agree together. The two have to agree together to make the marriage work. And that is why it's very important for, if you are married, husband and wife, to have a vision. When you get married, to have a vision of what you want your marriage to be. And I will advise you, let your marriage be God-like. Let it be Christian-like. Let it be Christ-like. You know, when the, we talk about submission, people think that uh, submission is, uh, you know, being forceful on that, uh, somebody, somebody being so authoritative. No, submission is just a voluntarily, voluntarily placing oneself under the authority of another. It is not forceful. And a wife's voluntary submission to her husband comes from her own submission to Christ. If you submit to Christ as your Lord and Savior, it will be very easy to submit to your husband. And husbands should have a self-sacrificial love for their wives. Self-sacrificial love for their wives. Husbands should imitate God's love. Christ's love. That undying love. That sacrificial love. That is what God has ordained marriage to be. Guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.